Clarkson's Discovery Tours cover all the great wine producing areas of Europe. The Rhine, the Moselle, Oporto, Bordeaux, and the sherry country of Jerez de la Frontera. This film is about one particular tour to discover the wines of Burgundy, to see where they're grown, to learn how they're made, to sample them and learn more about the flavor and character of each. To see some of the architecture and learn some of the history of the area too, because wine colors every aspect of life in Burgundy as it has done for centuries. It's only a short flight and there you are, in the heart of the wine country. Tomorrow morning, we'll leave from the hotel at quarter to nine and uh, we'll visit Bonn, the Hotel Dieu and uh, the Wine Museum. And after that, at 11 o'clock, we'll have another wine tasting at uh, the Patriarch Cellar. After the wine tasting, we'll have lunch at Bonn, at the same place, at Raison d'Or. And uh, in the afternoon, we'll leave at two o'clock and we'll go to the Chateau of La Rochefort. We'll visit the Chateau and have another wine tasting on the way back. Hooray! All those wine tastings. Can't be bad. That was Maine. This is Karen, two of Clarkson's couriers in the area. They know their ground well. They share your enthusiasm too. From the Burgundy area, probably from white Morache and the Bataille Morache, and red Courton and Pomar probably. The Tour Hotel is near the centre of Bone. With cellars full of millions of bottles on every street, this town is literally built on a foundation of wine. Even the old hospital, the Hotel Dieu, was financed directly by wine sales. Benefactors donated parcels of their vineyards, and in this area, that's a priceless gift. Uh, the wine auction takes place each year, the third weeks of November, and it's just for the wine who belongs to the Hospice de Beaune. The Hospice de Beaune got a, uh, 50 hectares of property uh, in all the different villages of the Côte de Beaune, from saint ney to Alos Corton, white and red wine, but uh, it's a level of quality, of course. Then, of course, there's the marriage of wine to food. The wines of Burgundy as an ingredient of as well as a compliment to the cuisine bourguignon.
over the last few years, the English have been discovering wine in a big way. And tours like this are quite the nicest way to learn more about the subject, taking four to six days to see the villages and vineyards, to taste the wines, and especially with an expert to tell you what to look for at the connoisseur's wine tasting. Le deuxième sens, c'est l'odorat. The second sense is the smell. Qui nous permet de découvrir les différents parfums d'un vin. And this allows us to discover the different uh, noses, bouquets of a wine. Et le troisième, c'est le goût, qui se pratique avec la bouche. <laughs> And the third, the third is the taste, obviously, from one's taste bud. Like in wine, as we do, and starting to drink more wine than we've ever done in our lives, we were a little intrigued and longing to see just where it actually started its life. <laughs> yes, I love French food. For example, a coco vin in Burgundy is um, it's the real thing. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. And you seem to pack such a lot into a, such a short time. And it's really good value for the money. Clarkson's offer a whole range of discovery tours to almost every country and major city in Europe. Among that range are tours to all the great wine-producing areas of Europe, to Burgundy and Bordeaux in France, to Oporto in Portugal, the valleys of the Rhine and Moselle in Germany, and the sherry country of Spain. Jet there and discover them yourself with Clarkson's.